Hello, this is Warlord, and what we're going to do today is take a look at making custom morphs out of existing morphs. And what I have here is just a, a stock uh, CC character loaded. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I want to do is create an aging process. Now we already have some things like old, but I want them to gain weight also. We're going to, not going to get really fancy and add a whole bunch of sliders. But you can add as many as you want to your custom morph. Just remember, if you get too radical with them, you will certainly get some unexpected results. But let's go ahead. We know that we already have old. We know that exists as something that we can use to create one of our morphs. So let's move this over. And I want them to gain weight. So let's go to heavy. And face heavy. Now about right there. That's where I want it to end up. So what I'm going to do is create morph slider. You can call this anything you want. If you're ever at a place like this where you're not sure, Put in test, test one, test two, things like that till you see what it does. I'm going to call this my morphs. And let's call this aging process. You can name this however you want. We want it to start off as the default morph. We want it to end up as this current morph. And we're just going to leave these values the same. And we're not going to put a thumbnail in it. Let's hit OK. Now you see it's already created a my morph folder over here, so to speak. The only reason it's not showing up is because I had a filter on there. Now, if we apply our aging process now, it's going to get ridiculous because we already have the aging process on there. So we can go back to the actor, go back to reset, go to my morphs, and there's our aging process. Now, let's say that we like that aging process, but we're going to use this on a lot of characters. So let's say that we don't want them to quite be that heavy. We want to thin them out a little. Well, we can create another process to do just that. So let's go look at, I say another process, another morph. Let's go look at heavy under actor. Now, I know we're already over. Don't worry about that. Let's just go to minus 100. That might be a bit much. Go to minus 50. Let's do a little more than that. Minus 75. Now that thins it. And let's thin the face a little. Now again, you can add more to this if you want. And let's say that this is going to be that particular morph. So we're going to create more slider. Now this is where we can put it under my morphs. Or if you're a developer or you have some other reason, you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this Warlord. And I'm just going to call it thinner. You can call it whatever you want. We want default morph, control morph, or current morph. Hit OK. Now the problem here is we've got two morphs made, but they're in two different places. And we don't want to just keep stacking up morphs up and down here. So let's go into my morphs and let's edit this morph. And you can easily do this just the other way around. And let's turn this to Warlord. And now you'll notice both morphs are in the same place under Warlord. Now let's go ahead and get the actor and let's reset because remember we're applying multiple processes there. And here's our aging process and here we can thin it out a bit. And if that's not enough, just keep going. I'm going to say something like that though. Now you may have to come in like here you notice the nose got a little bulbous on it. You can go in and change that. You can also make that part of the morph. But as far as creating morphs, that's all there is to it. If you need to come in and edit a morph, you just make your changes. Come in here to your source and change your source out or change your target morph out. Now this is just for using uh, morphs that you're going to create within this package. There's really nothing to it. 